Hi you guys, welcome back to Jolie Knots. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be melting this styrofoam with paint thinner and turning them into cookies, basically. I mean, not to eat cookies, but like um, we're gonna use cookie cutters, roll it out, use the cookie cutters to make shapes and then you could use the shapes to decorate and to up craft and upcycle and save the styrofoam from the landfill. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut your styrofoam into pieces where it can easily fit into your glass. We're gonna take our paint thinner, and we don't need a lot, just a, an ounce or two. Just about like that. And first, I'm gonna get rid of all of this trash. Watch. how it just melts it right down it's gonna dissolve it into something similar to like a, a silly putty so now I'm just gonna take one of your pieces I'm gonna leave it on real time now this is really fast okay and go straight in and just push see all those sizzles Now you could use this as like a glue. I've heard it be able to be used like a glue. Um, I have not done that myself. What I did with it previously was I wanted to make book plates, but it was going to shape them after they dried. But when it dries, it's not easy to cut because it like, cracks. So I'm going to make them again. And this time I'm going to shape them with cookie cutters. Okay, since we're gonna take that out and roll it onto here, I want all of this melted down. So I don't want these foamy pieces in my cookie shapes, my shapes. While we speed through this part, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified when new content releases. And so far, this has only been with like an ounce and a half of paint thinner. If you have delicate skin or skin issues or you get irritated really well, make sure you wear gloves. I tend to use this to get paint off of my hands that seem to be more difficult to get off of. So unless I, you're, I'm using it on a regular basis, my skin doesn't have a problem with it. Okay, it looks like I'm about towards the end of what my paint thinner can do. And so we're gonna get this thick substance like that. Let me get all, see if I can get all the rest of it. I still have that little piece there. Okay, so now we just have this. So we're gonna take this out and just use my cup to roll it out onto, this is just a plastic bag from the grocery store. Use plastic, I don't really know, I haven't done this enough times with other things to know like what it will stick to, since supposedly it can be used like glue. Um, I have not used it as glue. However, I do use this paintbrush to mix it and it does get very stuck and very hard. So I assume the glue would be just perfect if you needed such a glue. Okay, so I'm just rolling this out. 
so that I can use the cookie cutters. I probably should have got something a little bit better to roll it with. It's making it a little difficult since it's so small. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my cookie cutter and go in and cut the shape. Here we go. Ooh, I'm so excited. What a fantastic way to save all this styrofoam from the landfill. Okay, so those are done. I'm going to pull out what's around it and see if I can re roll it out. After you work with this for a little while, um, it does get like sticky and becomes a little bit harder to use. Then you can just dip it back in some paint thinner and make it pliable again so that you can use it easier, so it can move. So I'll show you. Whoops. Oops, I messed that one up, that's okay. Okay, now see how it's kind of, it's still pliable, just like Silly Putty. And it's like, it feels wet, but it's like dry. So if I need it to be more pliable so that it doesn't like stick because it will start like sticking to the cup, this is the rest of that, um, the paint thinner. I'm just gonna dip it in there so it's, it can be used a little bit longer. So these guys, we'll put these away. Ah, maybe we could do that better next time. We can cut these a little bit better to shape later on. So let's put that away and let's try this again. Okay, now let's put the heart there. And since that was kind of hard to take away, let's take it, the, it away like right away. Let's get it out. There we go. Ooh, look. And now let's do a star. And then let's pull the rest of the styrofoam away right away. And there we go. And now we've got more, still pliable, not as much, so we can dip it back in the paint thinner again. So it kind of picks up a little bit of moisture. So when it starts sticking to your cup, that's when you kind of want to either re-wet it or just be done with it and leave it because it's it's not really going to be easy to work with. Um, so if you get it, you know, wet again with your paint thinner, it'll be a little bit more pliable. There we go. Those two are kind of fails. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more heart out of it. What if we put the heart there and then push this and just shape it down into the heart? Yeah, we could do that. That would work. I think. Okay, that works too. Now let's let it dry. Okay, so it is 7.30 now. We will come back and see how long this takes to dry. Um, I'm sure the thinner it is, of course, 
the easier it will be. The first ones we did were super thin, so I'm going to go ahead and snip around these because they're a lot more workable um, now that the liquid has gone out so much, or I guess they've dried a bit. So I'm able to cut and kind of shape them a little bit more. Once it dries a little bit, it seems like you can, you know, fix the shape of your stuff. Then it won't like stick to your hands. Let's see if we can fix this star. very asymmetrical <laughs> that's okay okay it is 10 10 so it's two and a half hours later they are dry enough to move easily but i am gonna go set them in the sun and see if we can dry them any faster subscribe for part two to see what we come up with